Honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to welcome you all to the Armenian Indian Business Forum, and I thank the Confederation of Indian Industry for hosting us today. It is the first time that such a numerous and solid Armenian business and investment delegations travel to India to meet and greet their counterparts, establish mutually beneficial cooperation, collaborate to overcome the challenges of today's world, and create value for our societies. Indeed, today we are open a new page in the history of Armenian-Indian economic cooperation. And let me say, revive excellent traditions of trade, development, and shared prosperity between our nations. Throughout the years, India has become an important economic partner of ours. At the same time, there is a huge untapped potential for the utilization of which we must work to together. India, the world's sixth largest country by nominal GDP and the fastest growing economy among major powers, can become a land of unlimited opportunities for Armenian businessmen, technologists, and startups. In its turn, Armenia, being situated at the crossroads between Europe and Asia, has a lot to offer to India. Armenia's membership in the Eurasian Economic Union with a population of around 200 million and 1.8 trillion US dollars GDP, comprehensive and enhanced partnership agreement with the European Union, as well as the GSP regime with the United States, Japan, Canada, Norway and Switzerland, are tangible advantages in the investment attractiveness of Armenia and for effective cooperation with foreign partners. I would also like to note that our government is continuously undertaking the necessary steps to ensure the positive business environment in Armenia so that businessmen, entrepreneurs and investors can have favorable conditions to work and create. In this regard, I would like to mention the ambitious reforms aimed at promotion of rule of law, the fight against corruption and the establishment of free, truly competitive economy and market relations. Dear friends, Armenia and India can establish mutually beneficial cooperation in nearly every sphere of economy, but especially high-tech, IT, education, tourism, aviation, logistics and pharmaceuticals are among the most promising and forward-looking areas for partnership. Today, all the best and the brightest people from these spheres are gathered here. Hence, I am sure that the success of today's event is guaranteed. In conclusion, dear participants, I wish you productive and interest work. And I think this is the very correct time for politicians to step back and give the floor to the businesses. Thank you. and General Director, Enterprise Armenia, to deliver the welcome remarks. Uh, thanks to the participation to the Eurasian Economic... ...transnational investment promotion agency, Enterprise Armenia. Here we believe in the power of conversation, exchange of ideas and cultivating long-term partnership. We'll hold comprehensive conversation and propose ideas for future. Delighted to be here in India and uh, give a short presentation on investment climate and business opportunities in the Republic of Armenia. Country, uh, thanks to the mobilization of our private sector in pre-COVID times, Armenian economy was... Uh, legal regime cannot be less favorable for just years ago. Uh, for small startups, uh, changing worlds, I mean, to rely just on, on one export destiny. Uh, continuing this uh, ecosystem, 100,000 square uh, meters of production facility, facilities, but which is already almost full with, with productions. Um, we're having is a very flexible and convenient hub, uh, and uh, they are just paying just the their balance. They come, and our goal is to make them create their personal path, learning path, and to create their portfolios that they take with them. And yes, we're trying to do tech summits and uh, startup conventions and incubators, accelerators.